You're listening to the Freelance Blend Podcast, episode 144. Welcome to the Freelance Blend Podcast, where we entertain, educate, and engage freelancers from the Philippines and across the globe. And now, here's your host, Marv de Leon. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Freelance Blend Podcast. This is your host, Marv de Leon. This is episode number 144 and another exciting episode of the Freelance Blend podcast. Now for this episode, uh, ano to, two-part series. This is part one of our coverage of a recent event that I attended. So that event is Trade Secrets Manila. It's an event by the... Filipina home-based uh, Pinoy's ah, Filipina home-based moms or FH moms uh, group in Facebook uh, led by its admin, its uh, founder and admin, si MK, si Maria Corina Cope or paano ba pronounce last name mo, Maria uh, MK? Her her nickname is MK. Uh, C-O-P-E ang last name niya. Ko- Cope or Cope ba? Anyway, uh, I was ecstatic and um, privileged to be one of the speakers and panelists of that uh, whole day event. Um, I hope you were there and I hope you, after um, watching me there, you subscribe to Freelance Blend Podcast and FreelanceBlend.com. And in case you weren't able to attend, then don't worry. We were able to record one of the talks there and uh, we'll play that later. And also, yung sa part 2 of this two-part series, I will share with you naman yung panel interview uh, wherein kasama ako and two other speakers that I'll talk about uh, sa next episode. Meanwhile, before we talk about the speaker that will feature, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Golands. Before we continue with the show, I would like to talk about one of the latest platforms for us freelancers. Have you heard of Golands? Well, you should. They're an up-and-coming platform and currently rely 100% on their freelancers to drive their sales. Opening an account is so easy. You can sign up using your Facebook or LinkedIn account and you're good to go. What's great about Golands is their affiliate program. They pay 10% commission on their fees to their freelance partners for life. You hear that? You refer somebody once, he earns on Golands, and you get paid for life. Now that's passive income. What's more, their fees to freelancers are among the lowest in the industry and they're constantly working to find the right freelancer for the right employer. Do yourself a big favor. It's totally free to sign up. Just log on to freelanceblend.com slash golands. That's freelanceblend.com slash G-O-L-A-N-C-E. Now to activate your referrals, sign up for an account, click on the referrals tab, and refer everybody you know. They pay for not just your freelance referrals, but also for employer referrals too. And again, they pay you for life. So this is an income stream in itself. And it's a great way to get the word out about this amazing platform while making lots of profit. That's Golands. Again, just go to freelanceblend.com slash Golands. Alright, so for this episode, we have as a speaker dun sa Trade Secrets Manila uh, workshop last September 23. Um, so, I I had the privilege of recording his talk and I'm sure uh, gustong gusto nyo mapakinggan to. He's none other than John the Legend Pagulayan, the, the one of the top influencers sa ating freelancing space and he's uh, we feature we featured him on the show before in interview natin siya and he's since then he's been 
uh, been around uh, doing all these talks and helping freelancers. Uh, he also has a Facebook group uh, where he uh, talks about yung kanyang strategies when it comes to freelancing. So, I'm not sure kung open pa yung group niya. So, this is your chance to learn from John kasi yung itinuro niya sa Trade Secrets Manila uh, is the same principle that he teaches uh, sa kanyang group. So, yeah, I, I'm sure you learn a lot from him here and please uh, take out your notebooks and uh, take notes uh, kasi I'm, I'm sure kasi I was there and uh, while I was recording this and uh, I'm sure you'll learn a lot especially if you haven't uh, heard si John talk and uh, magaling mag, mag uh, salita si John he's really very passionate uh, straight talker uh, kung um, alam mo yun direct to the point and very simple yung mga steps that's why a lot of people are learning from him so again without further ado this is Mr. John Pagulayan the email marketing expert email marketing guru uh, the seven figure freelancer during the trade manila secrets a uh, trade secrets manila workshop by FH Moms Group last September 23, 2017. So, um, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, by the way, can I, can I get the hands of those who are freelancers here? Just so, just so I know. Who are freelancers? Who are freelancers? How about the rest? Entrepreneurs? Businesses? Startups? Well, anyway, whether you're an entrepreneur, startup, or, you know, you're still going to be, I think you may be able to get something away from, from my my um, presentation. Okay, so, the five easy ways to get freelancing, direct freelancing clients. Who, who knows direct clients? You know direct, right? Like, not from the platform. So, just a quick intro of who I am. Uh, my name's John, and I write emails for a living. That's what I do. I write love letters. Thank so. you. I write emails. Uh, who knows email marketing? Entrepreneurs. For entrepreneurs, are you guys using email marketing in your business? Yes. Yes? If you're, if you're not using it, you should. Seriously. It's, it's one of the biggest revenue drivers. Anyway, my name's John. And inside what you learn <clears throat> is the uh, first was the process I followed that got me from earning 10k to 30k monthly to 200k and beyond. I'm not going to be discussing the beyond, but <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I will. I will show you later. The four-step process I use to sign up clients like work, meaning there's no guesswork. How you can build predictability and consistency in your finance business. This is one of my pet peeves. Like seriously, I asked, why can't I have a freelancer? Because he's inconsistent, shape. Unstable income shop. Unstable your ass. And it is not. Why? Freelancing is not unstable if done properly. Oh? Oh man, Next, the five no greater strategies you can do as soon as today. Literally today. If you're gonna do one of the strategies here today, you go to my web and make like an know. To get your first direct client and more. You gonna do the special and more? You give an ID though. <laughs> and I'm not gonna tell you a bit more about me because it's not being a yung talang buhay ko. So a bit of a warning. This is not your uh, typical freelance content. I'm not going to inspire you to, you know, to do action or say, Puso na nga kailangan. I'm, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to be like really brutal on you. What you really need is a freelancer. Okay? Hindi ko patatapain yung puso niyo. What am I going to do here? So I'm going to show you exactly what is it that you need to do. 
There's others are saying you have to do this, you have to do that, but they're not showing the con like concrete examples on how to really do it. So that's what we're gonna what you're gonna what you guys are gonna see here. So is that cool, guys? Oh, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously guys, is it, is it, well, can I get your commitment on this? Like, whatever I'm going to show you today, you're going to have to do it. Like, freak you do it. What do you do? You can do it. Okay, so, here's one of the, you know, like, one of the things that that you almost see everywhere when you ask freelancers, like, what, what do you think that's one thing? Like, I've asked freelancers this. Like, what's that one thing you need to be the best freelancer ever? Or to have the best freelance business? Usually, they tell me these two things. Skills and tools. Yung laptop ko kasi mahina ay mabagal eh. Ano kaya yung magandang laptop? Makikita mo ito na sa mga, sa mga groups. Ano kaya, ano bang setup ng workstation mo? Kala mo naman, ikakayaman niya yun. And then the skills. Like most of us, when I ask them, so why are you not getting clients? Kasi wala pa akong skills. Pili ko hindi pa ako magaling. Pili ko lang yun. <laughs> But the two most important things that we will be talking about in this presentation is these two. Because this one, from 30K, this one, it boosted my, boosted my income to 200K a month. And this one, 200K above. So it's important that you focus on these two things before you worry about your workstation. Okay? Mindset and then the process. So, when I say mindset, there are a lot of mindsets just really that you need to do as a freelancer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna show you like the four of the main mindset shifts that you need to incorporate in your life. I said we grew up in a in a different culture, and most of these mindsets are not are not really present. So number one, come from a place of help. Most freelancers come from the place of taking money. Wala na akong pera, kailangan ko ng kain. Tama ba? Ha? Pagbabayaran na naman ang utang, kailangan ko pa na isang client. Nakasangla pa yung ATM ko, kailangan ko pa na isang client. But what I'm trying to tell you here is that Business is about serving other people. It's giving value. And value begets money. So unless you give value, you'll get no money back. So pag una pa lang, pera na yung kinukuha mo, wala pa sila siyang bibigay. Wala pa lang value yung binigay. Let's be clear on that. Maraming siya sa atin, ayaw magpalamang. Mga Pilipino bang Lagi na lang, oh, scum niya, scum niya. Scum the one. I'm just saying. Like, people, like freelancers, are too afraid to invest on themselves. Pero kapag kulipad yung client, galit na galit. So how do you expect the client to invest in you kung ikaw mismo, ayaw mo mag-invest? Selfish yung pro. <laughs> it's, it doesn't make any sense. So first come from place of help, offer value. Next, employee mindset. As a freelancer, guys, here's what I'm gonna say. You guys own a business. You're not a freaking employee. Hindi ka hinire para utos-utosan kung anong gagawin. When you're a freelancer, you have a freelance business. Okay, and when you're running a business, you transact with other business owners the way business, man, you know, business people would. You own a business there. So they hire you for your expertise. They need you, not the other way around. Okay, because we're 
Ah, oh, sandali. Mas maghanap yung client ng gano'n. Kailangan ko ng ano. When you come from this employee mindset, sinabi nung ano, magkano charge mo yan? 500 dollars. 500? Sige, 400 na lang. Parang mahal. 250. 250. Sige, titignan ko na sa event. 100. Last na, last na. Kina, most of us are are feeling a business step. Eh, ginagawa natin chunky. Diba? Baka raos lang sa susunod. Because when you keep on doing that, you may not believe this from a guy who has tattoos and all, but you attract the same kind of people. That's the thing. If you have that wrong mindset, you attract those same kind of people. So, third, you're gonna see that mama. Third, being paid by the value you provide. Most of us freelancers have this addiction to our work. Marami. Like we have this, which for me, some, sometimes it makes sense, but sometimes it doesn't. See, see for example, you're a website designer. Bago Hong Kong's website designer, you charge $20 per hour. Babuhan ka So when the client hired you, you spent, I don't know, 20 hours on the website bago mo nagawa yung gusto ng client. So meaning, the client paid you a lot kasi ba nung mukhang? Diba? Have you, have you ever thought about that? The client paid you a lot kasi ba nung mukhang? But what if two years after, two years after, nakalipas, and then, same client, nakita ka niya ulit, Uy, John! Ikaw pala, pag ulit na ng website, this time magaling ka na. What used to take you 20 hours, 3 hours na lang. So, mabayaran ka $60 lang dahil magaling ka na. Do you guys get the logic? But why are we doing it to our clients? Why, why do you keep on doing it? Yun yung tanong doon. Why, are you, why do you keep on doing it when you know that logically, it doesn't sound right? And four, fall in love with the process. When I say fall in love with the process, the next process that I'm going to show you on the next page. When I say fall in love with the process, most of us kasi are addicted with, ah, 100k a month na ako ngayon. Or, next year gusto ko 50,000 a month na ako. Like that's what we, like we put our success based on money. Like money goals, or deadline, time deadline. But when I say follow up with the process, your success should be judged whether or not you apply the process. You're, when you're going to earn deeper. Next, yes. are we clear on the, on the mindset stuff? Okay, so this is the process. This is what I do to get freelance clients. Up, up, up. Kaya yeah, talaga kung kumuha ng panlima, parang mas mukhang mas matalino ako, pero wala ka nag-abag lang talaga. Mas <laughs> sinuha ka talaga, parang oh, walang yun walang ginagawa ako, apat ka mo. So, <laughs> what I do is I connect with prospects. So once I connect with prospects, step two, I schedule them on a call. Now why do I schedule them on a call? The reason for scheduling them on a call is so that I know what their specific problem is. Like, I, 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 the last time I posted something sa Facebook group ng mga freelancers, I said, although, uh, meron ba ditong gumagawa ng website, email nyo ako. And then, on my email, I received like, dozens of uh, applications saying, hey, Sir John, I'm a CSS, uh, WP 2.0 Counter Strike Dota Expert. JavaScript X triple X whatever. I I saw that. Like almost every single one of them. But it it yung nakapagkadun eh. Not not even one of them asked me, sir, ano bang website yung kailangan niyo? Para sa bago. Like most freelancers, when I get an opening, set you guys should make boom boom boom. I'm good at this, good at that, good at this, good at that, good at that. I'm faster, I'm faster, I'm smarter, I'm better. Puro puro sa 
Tigilan yung muna yung pakano, pakapromote sa rin nyo. And for once, listen to what the client is, what the client wants, what he needs. Kasi because what you're doing, it's, it's malpractice. That's what I'm trying, it's malpractice. Like, kapag pumunta ka sa doktor, sinayo ito, masakit ko ulo ko. Eto ba yung Jesse? Kung nga yung alis na. That's what most freelancers are doing. Di ba? Like, we, the opening up like, eto ka, gawin natin, sige, gawin. Without even thinking, kapag pinangaba namin ito, may mangyayari ba? Patutulungan ba talaga siya sa goal niya? Ano ba yung goal niya? Gusto naman yung mag-end ng website o yung website na nakakabenta? Paano ba naman yung benta? Guys, you have to think about your clients. Stop talking about yourself. Okay, awa kayo pero ginagawa natin. <laughs> Alam ko medyo masakit ang gawin sa damdamin. Kasi ito tawag nyo eh. It's, it's true, we keep on doing this. So, they schedule a call and they ask them, what exactly do they want? Right? So, once I know what they want, I send them a proposal outlining, here's, here's what we talked about, here's what you want, here's what we're gonna do about it. I don't even, ito, ito na katawad rin, I don't even send out my portfolio. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin ang portfolio. Wala akong website. Mga portfolio, wala akong website. Di ba ba yung mga kailangan? Ako hindi ko alam yun. Sorry, hindi ko tayo. I don't know what a cover letter is, but it sounds awesome. Ano ba? NPI, right? By data. By data. No, but seriously, all I sent is a proposal. Most of them don't even know how good I am. They don't even know how I write. Yun yung kailangan yung maisip doon, right? If someone like me is getting clients for $2,000, $4,000, $7,000 without showing anything, right? and I'm just, what do I do? I just write emails. Who the hell pays seven for, for writing emails? 13 emails. That $7,000 and $4,000, all I need to do is write 13 emails uh, 400 to 500 words long each. That's what I say. So imagine, if, if you can, let me know what the design expert, the Facebook ads expert, higit na mas importante naman yung pinagawa nyo kaysa sa akin, di ba? So I don't see why you won't be able to charge more for your service. So there, send a proposal and then get paid. Here's, di ba? Like most freelancers would work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. work. And then, wait to be paid. Minsan, pag tinakbuhan, hindi nga mas na-client siya, mas ka-apel. Diba? Hindi pa ako mag-reklamo sa mga Facebook groups eh. But what I do, I charge either the full amount before I do anything. Before I do anything, you have to pay me first. That's what I do. Pay me first, saka na ako gagalap. Hindi ako charity. Right? And then, if ever, so, isa, sobrang laki, about $10,000 yung project, or $7,000 or $5,000, isa, hindi na kaya na isang punto, I make sure na I ask at least 50% or down payment. Pero, the cash is, the 50% should be enough so that kahit akbuhan ka, masaya ka pa rin. Yun yung, para, di ba, may itatanong, Paano ako masisigurado na magbabayad sa akin si Kyle? Kaya huwag kang kakawa bago ang isang bayad. Yun yung pinaka-safe kung na-approach doon. Di ba? Hindi ka natakuhan kasi walang pagkakawang pa. Di ba? Walang akong ginawa. Ito. So that's the process. Now, before you can apply the process that I have, you need to have this. Your offer. Okay. So, your offer is I help. Guys, do you know which market do you help? Do you have specific markets that you help? Yes. And, 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 and,
all Thursday speakers, good for you. Seba, let us hear you. Startups. But, he, ano sa, sa, pwede pang ano eh, pwede pang i, i, ano yun, in-niche pa, like say, coaches saan, sa personal development space. Diba? Pwede pa siyang i-niche. So, you have to be targeted kasi on the market that you're trying to pursue. So, I help coaches and consultants, whatever, and the result that you want or the problem that you solve. Guys, do you even know the problem that you solve? for your target market, you know? Or how about the result that your client wants? So in order to have a very good offer, you need to know the target market and the result that they want. Panghuli na yung what you do. Because most of us lead with what we do. What do you do? I'm a VA, all around. I, I serve everyone. Whatever your problem is, I can solve it whoever you are. Like we cater to everyone else. But here's the thing. But again, mine's ito, ito nga yun eh. Like what I've said, most of the things I'm gonna say here are counterintuitive, but it's gonna work for you in the long run. So be targeted. Find out who exactly your market is, what's their problem, what results they want, and what do you do. And because when you do that, this happens. Do you guys see it? Then Nongsha, what do you do? One of my students said, as for me, I help coaches and consultants get more clients through optimized marketing models. And the client? And the prospect. Just by putting your offer out there you're getting clients interested in what you do. So again, if I get them interested in what I do, step one, process, step one. Connect. Step two. Schedule. 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 Next, people. Schedule, for example. After the call, set proposal, and the next. Hang it up. That. Hang it up. Okay. Well, what's up with that? So the first direct, you know, first way to get direct clients is network outreach. So when I say network outreach, magkana kapit bahay, edigan, jowa kapit kapit tung jowa mo. And that's network outreach. Now, if you're not doing this, seriously, if you're not doing this right now, you're wasting. You're technically throwing away free money. Pero nyan eh. And when I say network outreach, I'm talking about friends and family, business owners, especially they sell to other businesses. Some refer lang yan, and dami pa lang kuya yun. Next, sales people, same thing, they sell to businesses. Other service providers, just like you, yung katagin nyo ngayon, pwede nyo na yung tanongin mamaya ng, ano, kamera ko sa referral. Next is, former colleagues, yung mga kasamahan nyo dati sa work, sa eskwelaan, na sikat na sikat. Yung laging nilalapitan ng mga chicks. Hindi na mga magandang, ano, ikaw yun. So Facebook, LinkedIn connections, email contacts, community government leaders, so local non-profits. I once did a, a, uh, ito nga nakatawa na may, in an approach kayo sa mga community, like mga, ano, mga, uh, mga community groups sa amin dati sa Beagle and I got like 50 attendees 50 business owners for free nasa harap ko pwede ko silang bentahan ng email marketing all because I reached out and said dun sa group ko dun sa local non-profit sabi ko magkatrainin ako on how to improve to get more customers to email marketing sa mga local businesses baka meron kayo yung pala may listahan sila ng 3,000 people of business owners, and they invited them for, for a fee. 2,000 yata yung bayan nila. Yung pera, napunta doon sa organizer, but I now I have a database of 50 business owners na na-impress sa akin, and ang tingin nila sa akin, expert ako. Kasi nagsit na ako sa unahan eh. Kasi hindi naman nagsasit na sa unahan na hindi expert. Ay, hindi. 
Yan. And then your virtual competitors. Ito um, yung hindi natin may ganyan. Like, we always stay away from competition. Pero lagi mo siya sabi sa mga kakilala ko, sa mga mga sinati ko, like, there's really no such thing as competition. So if you have someone whom you think is your competition, approach them. Malay mo, ang dami niyang lain, sobrang napasulo nila, hingin mo yung konti. No, I'm serious. Now, here's how you should go about doing this. I'm going to make them play Thailand. Okay, so what you need to do is send this template in another question. Do you know someone in the blank? That's why I, you guys need to know your specific market so that they know kung paano ka i-refer. Paano ka nila i-refer kung sabihin mo ng VA ka? Ang nga pala may kagiging akong VA, yung pinagawa nila, basta kaya daw niyang gawin na ka. <laughs> Paano ka i-re-refer kung hindi mo alam kung anong ginagawa mo? Diba? So, there. You see, I'm taking my best to new direction and I'm not planning to insert. When I say insert offer, yung mahaba kanina, yung I help blank, that's what you're trying to insert there. I was wondering if you know someone who just my help. Now, these, you know, this template does two things. When you send it to someone, to someone, since hindi mo sila binibentahan, pwede ka lang i-refer, or sila mismo, Interesado. That is what usually happens. So you can do this for at least, yeah, like do this for like 20 on 20 people each day. And I'm talking about people in your phone book, people in your messenger, people. Just do this. 20 people for one day. Impossible in the book of the life, the love of the life. Serioso. To show you the power of that, here's a screenshot from um, from, from folks who have done this method. So, yeah, see si Mark, sabi niya, this shit works. Grab it, but work. I haven't added like this kind of amount of crap, but I'm, yeah, not what I said. Kasi ako siya, freelance videographer. So, one wedding gig and who misses ads in three. And all he did was that outreach thing that I showed you earlier. See, Anthony, by following this task, I was able to connect with a friend of my brother is an owner of a food business. Who knew that yung friend yung brother yeah, owner ng food business? Diba? But these are the, the normal everyday things that we tend to skip kasi focus tayo saan? Sa upward. At yung attention natin. Kasi nga ako nang invite yung friend so that's so that's one guys are we there number one Eric I'm in okay so here here's another one by Bernard as Bernard naman asawa pala niya yung main network so my wife is now aware of the NSS telling thing, naaway yata sa akin, so she gave me a referral. Turns out, yung referral na yun is a dentist, and walang bayad yung gagawin yung website, but for every customer that the website will generate, he's gonna get 10%. So imagine doing things, doing the website one time, but you can sit on your ass, wait for it, and then you know, you know, every single time you look at my mind from website. Doesn't that sound fun? Well, no, no, no. Like one of my one of my friends who is an American, I think business model yet. He offers websites for free. He offers websites for free, and she just he just charges them for every lead that's gonna come in to the website. He has a forty-five thousand dollar business every single month. Nang wala siyang ginagawa. Yun yung nakakasal doon, di ba? Yung nagigigap ka sa pagigagawa. Wala siya, la, 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 uy, kaya. Wala, la, la, yung pera na naman siya. But that's the thing. Kasi again, we're, we're focused on doing more hours to get more money. Hindi yun eh. Value is what you give to get more money. Yes? So for, for his client, the value that he's giving is not the website, 
But the website that's, that's gonna generate what? Clients. Yun yung ano, yun yung putapitan. So, second, Facebook and LinkedIn for prospecting. Since as a Facebook lang, hindi naman tayo maghapon. <laughs> Why not use Facebook to get your uh, direct clients? And when I say use Facebook, I'm saying add 10 people each day. 10 people. I'm not talking about random people. Ang mga may pocket chicks yun ay add po yung ano yun. Hindi yun. Talking about 10 people within your target market. Remember kanina, pinapaano ko sa inyo yung target market? Yung kung sino ba talaga? That's because this is important. So say for example, gusto ko mga podcasters. Yung mga target ko, podcasters, kasi transcriptionist ako. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna type in podcasting. Doon sa group, di ba? Sa search. I'm just gonna go and join podcasting groups. Pag pumasok ako, ang tanangoy na ako sa creator. Ang tanangoy yung podcasters na loob ng podcasting group eh. Pero hindi. Ang normal na freelancer, pupunta yan sa freelancing group, okay, which is me. Diba? Hindi yung mga nalari. Why not instead of, you know, focusing on freelancing groups, so, wala ka nang mawa. Hindi naman yung bibigyan ng client eh. Why not focus on getting your own client doon pa sa groups kung nasaan yung mga target market mo. So, may script tayo dyan. When they when you add them, ang gagawin mo, um, hey, you know, um, thanks for adding me back. Pa, add ko sa, di ba? Add ka 10. Siguro mga mga pag-add sa'yo doon, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Add ka nila. When they add you back, you say, hey, blank, thanks for, you know, thanks for adding me back, or hey, blank, we'll add to the back. And when they, and they usually they reply, no, you know, it's all good, thanks, you know, no problem, etc. And then say something like this. You can use any of the three, but I'm giving you words, you know. I'm just giving you a, like an outline. By the way, so your group, uh, this is group, and would love to know what you do. But the important thing here is you are, the important thing here is you are genuinely interested in what they do. Hindi yung, yung friend ko ba wag si pera to? Doesn't work that way. Right? Add them because you genuinely want to know how to help them and what, you know, what you can do to help them. So, paano mo siya tutulungan kung hindi mo alam yung business niya? Okay? So, find out exactly what they do. Don't, kato ha, don't even really talk about yourself. Not for one bit. Just ask them what they do. Oh, okay. How's it? How's it going? Masa puro kanong lang about their business. Keep on asking about their business hanggang sa makutaan sila kakaranong about their business and about them. About their family, about their dog, about their kid. Because what's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is, when you keep someone, you know, may nakasap ka naman, may nakasap ka, tapos na naman natin, no? What's gonna happen? Just to be, just to be polite, sabihin na sa'yo, ah, oh, enough about me, how about you? What do you do? That's the magic question that you're waiting for. Okay? Because now, you're not seen as a status man. Iba, iba, iba yung, ah, pala, hi, my name is Dan, nagbibenta ka ng pagpayat, pagpapit, pagpapit. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay? Let them ask you, what do you do? And when? They ask you, what do you do? Anong gagawin natin? That's when you put in, papalit naman tayo dun sa offer. You guys, see the offer kanina, di ba? Just put that in there and paste it. Because here's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, for example, this, this lady. Day one, yeah, she added Jason. Day two, they came for connecting. Blah, blah, blah. Ano nga yung tinanong, ano po, ano, ano, ano. Sabi niya, gano'n mo sa buhay, gano'n, gano'n ka kakanda, gano'n kahaba, gano'n, um, anything, anything. Tapos, si Jason tinanong siya, what do you do? Pinapinawa niya, pinosto niya yung offer niya, I help, blank, blah, blah, blah. So what happened, when that happens, tinanong siya ng client, oh, naging interesado sa kanya. Kung naging interesado na, sinabi ni Divine, okay, so here's my link, let's schedule a call. 
Okay, the process is simple. Connect. Yeah, do not follow. Close up. Get paid. And I'll be pushing up. Then connect. Connecting. Stop the recall. D4. Proposal sent. Who can do that? Well, I'm going to pay up. And then what happened was, yeah, five hundred dollars. Ang wala pa siya. Wala pa siya ginagawa. And I, 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 you know, I, I'm an advocate of charging premium kasi. So, when I say premium, like $1,000 and above. And di ba sabi ko sa inyo kanina, if you're gonna charge, ask for at least what? 50%. Yan yung 50%. Okay? So that's what, what happens so when you do the connecting parts of Facebook. Here's another example. Si, si Jerome. Patago ka, nagsisend ng results ng talent, hindi may pa-post yun. Yan. Si Moore, master, he's a master of number two. Ang sama, ang master of number two, di ba? He's a master of doing Facebook connects. He's a master of doing that. What's his service? He sells ghostwriting. He's a, nagsusunod siya ng libro, or off. But look at what he did. One thousand two hundred. He's being paid one thousand two hundred to write one small book. At the end of it, every lead that they're gonna generate, he's gonna pay. He's gonna get paid fifty cents. Tapos niya lang isulat yung libro. Pinabayaran pa rin siya. Kaya ano kasi sarap yun? Well, that that guys. Hindi hindi pa ubi ko yung mga years sa ulo na ayaw pa nalam. There are a lot of things that you can do with your service. Okay, so there. Next, call email. So you can call email. Yeah. Are you a freelancer? Exactly, good. Guys, whether you're a business, consultant, freelancer, I don't care who you are, if you're not doing cold emails, you're missing out on a lot. Three also. Like, ako, when I started out, my goal is to send at least 10 cold emails a day. But for you guys, you can start with two a day. You can start with two. Remember, do network outreach with two people a day, and then do at least 10 connections, and then do at least two emails a day. Now, out of 100 emails that you send cold email, it's average, average, you're gonna get about two to three percent response rate. So, kailangan talaga, you're basically you're playing by the numbers here. Okay, so the template that I have for cold emails goes like this. <laughs> so, that's the cold email template. Now, now, most of those who are going to see this are like, gumagana ba talaga yan? But then again, look up the email. We're coming from a place of what? Place of help. We're offering value. We just want to know what's wrong with them. Hindi yung hi. My name is John. I'm super awesome. I have a service. Usually, cold emails go like that. Diba? Like, oh, I saw that you have a website. I have a website too. I can make you one. Pero yung mga cold emails natin eh, parang nag-iisip pa talaga, no? So, make sure that your cold email is more focused on the value that you can give. Again, value begets money. So, there. That's the template right there. And then, bakit ganyan yung tanong natin? Why are we asking them for their problems? Because of this. When they answer back, we send them this email. Anyways, let's get this research done. I'll get back to you with some ideas that I think could blah blah blah. I think you really like it. It gives you an excuse to follow up. So say for example, consultant ako. What are you consulting for? IT system, right. You're consulting for IT systems. Say for example, I said this. Okay? What's gonna happen is, I send it over next week as my way of saying. 
So next week, I'm going to send them something like a video or something, or a guide, or something that would help their business. Kung ay consult ako, something na video about, I don't know, but what exactly does I consult? But more of what exactly I consult that can do for their business. That's what's going to happen. Tapos, pag nasend ko na yun, ang sabihin sa'yo ng client, dalawa na. It's either thank you, or can you do this for our business? Hindi naman sila pwede magsabi, ayaw ko nito. Tumulong ka na nga eh. Diba? Tumulong ka na nga, ayaw pa nila. So dalawa lang sabihin sa'yo niya, thank you, or can you do this for our business? If they say, can you do this for our business, what do you do next? Call. Sanay na sanay na yun. Call. Okay, process. Connect. Call. Proposal. Get paid. Pag sinabi lang thank you, your answer should be, would you like me to implement this for your business? Yun lang yun. Wala silang lusot doon, eh thank you or can you do this for your business? Ang sagot nila, you'll still be able to get get them on a call at least. Okay? So, again, wala akong pinapakita ditong way na hindi prove it. So, yeah, si Aimee, she did, <laughs> she did this, and so that one strategy call this morning is under call email, young, it works, but I'm going to ask you a simple questions. Yeah, so the reply was, I didn't write a line. First email pa lang yan, eh. I didn't write a line. Yeah, love to explore questions and get to know your each other. Call na. Call? Call? Proposal? Get paid. Another one. It's Marian. <laughs> First time ko kita yung call email. Ito ko lang kaya sa mas it's mixed nga ba na? Wala pa si mixed na. Yeah. But anyway, here's the response again. I'm interested more about your services and how they might add value to your business. But guys, do you see kung ano yung mga naging response ng mga, ano, ng mga, ng mga clients? It's like you're all welcome guests instead of, you know, huwag mo kung kang pala ay kumayakas ka. You're all welcome guests. So again, connect, call, proposal, get paid. So, number four. Guys, ay, 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 Ah, yeah. So after your pro strategy, okay, so when you already had clients, but I'm going to be client dito, you So after your pro strategy, after your pro strategy is basically a referral that you ask your Clients. So that you ask your clients to do whatever you just deliver. You do this every after after referral strategy because you do this every after you deliver the project, gave them the good results, or every after two months. Bakit, bakit deliver the project and gave them good results? Because during that time, you find mo high pa yan. High pa sa, sa bagong bigay na project. Kumbaga, good mood siya, more or less, i-refer niya sa iba. So, always look out for these focus. There were a project, gave them good result pa. Sinabi, uh, John, what are the last few days? mo ginawa ko, ito nangyari, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you do, ask for a referral. I get the bed. Or every after two months. That's how you ask for more referrals. And here's a good template for that. So I'm saying, we're going to show you like the native preview, like how that is. That's what you can do. And yeah. thanks for being an awesome client. As well for me, happy to insert what you guys did. Okay, hello, then pa kayo. Then ano ka? You've been a pleasure to work with. Thanks, John. That's the one he said. And then wait for their reply. Kasi kliente mo, gumawa ka na po kailang trabaho. Wala mo sa hindi. Nakakalap sila ng reply. Now when they reply, this is what you do. By the way, I was wondering if you have any friends who, again, guys, it's important to have your offer locked down. Okay? Offer, I usually do my best work with your ideal client, your target market, and your ideal project. Like, what is it exactly that you love to do? Do you love writing books? Right? Love writing emails? 
you have to be clear on what you do, who you serve, bago mo magawa yung mga tactics against na nasasabi mo dito. So then, appreciate any reductions that you think. Just do that, and you're gonna get more referrals from your clients. Again, you're referral ka na sa mga kamag-anak mo, kay Bigan mo, kay mga kamessenger mo, kaya mo pang-referral sa mga clients mo. And to be honest, this is one of the best ways to get referred. Kasi, it's easy, meron mo ano eh, may backup ka eh. But your clients already trust you. Diba? The fact that they work with you, kapag nag-refer sila sa iba, ang tingin ng iba, sa bagay, ano yung meron nga niya si Ian eh, si Ian, bakit kasi hindi sila iba kayo? Diba? So you do what that, you Now, here is an example of, you know, Okay, if you notice, I'm giving you the steps, and I'm also showing you like real life example that it works. Because I don't want to say that it's not a good idea, but it's not a good idea. Yeah, it, it works. So, Tony reached out to a friend, former client, connected with foreign boss, and yeah, looking for the service that I provide. And here's one. This is me. I'm here. Okay, so I was referred by a friend to Cheryl. Kaya sabot ko di ba mitre na thanks for the intro. Kasi I asked for an intro. Now, if you can notice, we need your help with titles and possibility, blah, blah, blah. Ito, kaya yung pagkakas nyo, continuity offer at monthly reports. So every month, they want me to write short intros for $1,500 a month. That's all I'm gonna do. Short intros, five reports, $1,500 a month. If multiplied by 12, that's an $18,000 client. But I should have missed if I did it do the after referral strategy. CP, if you have a harvest of 1 million, because you have a client of two of them, do you guys think it's getting the importance of the after referral? Okay. <coughs> So, last, last. So, last, uh, live events or seminars. Woo! Kind of, huh? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> so yeah, so let me say that this is one of the one of the most effective ways to get uh, freelancing clients. Sure. Yeah. One of the effective ways to get freelancing clients. So when you attend seminars or live events. So, <laughs> so when you attend live events, you have to follow, you have to remember the three ways of live events. Approach, ask, and then advice. And when I say approach, ask, and advice, um, appro approach is, kung introvert ka man, kung kang mahiya, just approach them by saying, Hi, my name is John, I'm sure. Hi, I serve staff. What's your name? Now, usually, what people do wrong in live events is that they approach, but do sa ask, hindi na ginagawa. When I say ask, ask for their calling card. Ask for their calling card. Most entrepreneurs, most people, most freelancers, most everything, when they go to an event, kaya pagkilala yun sa'yo, nga pala, calling card ko. <laughs> but that's what that's what usually entrepreneurs do, you like must ask people. But you know what? I don't like doing that. I say if I give someone my calling card, what's gonna happen? Hindi ka rin ka-tapon ng calling card, seryoso. 
Uh, so what I do is I ask for their calling card instead. If I ask for their calling card, what's gonna happen? Now I have 100% control whether I follow up or not. Diba? So nagbubulat yung mga tao sa akin ba at ako namumulek na ng calling cards na hindi ako namibigay. Mas effective yung mumulek na ka na lang. Kasi mabigay ka lang. 100% follow up. Pero kasi tawagan na, ano ba yung email nila? Yung phone, yung bakay, address, basura na. Basta marami. So there. And what you've got there, ask for their advice. The advice should be, when I say advice, hindi ikaw yung mag-a-advice. Ask for their advice. Yan. Siyempre, di ba? Okay. Can I ask you something? Sure. So you, I have, you know, I have a certain market market. Let's say, for example, nasa event ka ng mga consultants. What you need to do is say, Sabi ko naman, I said, you know, I have consultants coming to me for help. Uh, you know, when it comes to, when it comes to, kung ano man yung struggle, I have consultants coming to me for help, for help, when it comes to getting, getting clients. Now, the reason why I'm saying that, when I, you're, diba, you have consultants coming to you for help, kung, sino ka naman hindi mag-isip ng expert ka? Diba? Let's just say that people are going to automatically assume that people are asking you because you have you know something about the problem. That was para sa mga number yung second sentence. It comes to getting clients. So I just I guess someone understand why it's such a problem. What's going to happen is if you share ng yon ng pag-usap mo, bakit problema yung pagkuha ng clients? They're going to share and share and share and share and share. Tapos, magbabay ka na, paalam, punta ka naman sa iba. Now, what's gonna happen after the event? After the event, you can now send an email saying, this. Pero, ipi-ibahin mo. Sabihin mo naman niya, hey, John, we met at blank event. Diba? And I remember you telling me about this problem of yours. That's why you need to get the problem. Para may reason ka para mag follow up. I remember we talked yesterday, you told me that yung problem mo. So, by the way, uh, you know, I'll get back to you with some ideas. Next week, as my way of saying things, kapag nakilala ko sa'yo, I'll send you something in your mail. Abangan mo yun, it might help you, blah, blah, blah. Again, about giving value. Yun yun. So, yeah, so this is, Angel, she did the uh, nung pinost ko yung task <laughs> pumunta talaga siya agad sa MTA na event, which is what I love kasi people who are taking, taking action talaga eh. So, yeah. Introvert siya, so kailangan nung matend because for her business. By the way, she's a financer, but she also has a business. So this doesn't, ito mga binibigay ko sa akin, it doesn't only work for freelancers. It works for every business there is. So yeah, distressing old Christians, you know, yeah, the start notion of how I can ask advice about this. In any case, would you mind to share your big single Christian challenge in your organization, blah, 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 etc., etc. So when she did that, um, August 17, this is what happened. August 21, 50,000 pesos. What? Okay, so I'm telling you, just freaking do this. Don't go out of this event and say, but you know strategy, I don't know what I'm going. Guys, just do this. Hang on here. Okay, so. So that's it. Those are the five um, direct, you know, ways to get direct clients. But I just want to emphasize on this one, consistency. Consistency. Because most of you are going to go out, that was, and try it once, twice, pag hindi nag-work, iiyak sa sulok, sabi, hindi naman pala, pala, pala. <laughs> but it's not supposed to be the case. Dapat, if you're gonna do it, make sure that you do it every single day. Make it a part of your habit. Build your own business before you build your client's business. Ang mali sa atin kasi, when we wake up, the first thing that we work on is our client's business. Di ba? Pag isang gagawa agad ng task ng client. Guys, financing is a business. So the first thing you should be doing when you wake up 
is building your own business. So when I wake up, the first two hours of my day is dedicated to finding what? Finding clients to work with. Yun yung, ano, yun yung contrafe doon. And when you do this consistently, this is what's gonna happen. Ito si, ano ba ito? Mas yung sorry, ito si April na lang para ito. Yeah. Sino gusto mong problema na fully book na siya for the next 3 to 6 months? Ang clients. Yeah. And, and the only thing that she's doing, guess what? On the email. Yun lang. And she's fully book. 3 to 6 months. Pag yun ang problema mo, di ba? Ang sasaka. Wala akong problema na yun. Ito pa. Si Seth. Ang laki din ang problema ng taon to. May pipeline of clients ay lumapit. Ayan. Wala na siya ang paglagyan ng clients. And the price that she has, she has two clients that are both worth $1,500. That's $3,000 a month. $3,000 is how much? $150,000? Ano? $150,000? $150,000 naman. But the problem is, wala na siya mapaglagyan ng clients. By doing what? The same five pieces that I showed you earlier. That's all they, that's all they do. Ito ka, si... Ito ka lumit lang si Marvin. Patagong mag-send ng mga nandari. Bakala ko. Pinabahan ako. Pinabahan ako. Pinabahan ako. So this was August 30. If you're gonna notice, August 30, sinan niya sa akin. 3,494, that's 1,097 per month in her rate. Ang nakakawa dito sa... sa ano, sa... Sa sinabi niya na yan, wala siyang, wala siyang portfolio. Wala siyang pinakita na, sabi nga niya, kung scammer pala ako, nakascam na ako ng 4,000 dollars. So wala siyang pinakita ng portfolio, kasi yung wala. So, after yung kala ko, sabi ko, congratulations, astig, grabe ka naman, bongga ka, ganun po. Bongga ka, ganun. Tapos, at number 7, nagsend na naman sa akin, Nag, nag, kakuha daw siya lang, 4,994. That's after 7 days. Ang buo ko kung ano, 2 weeks nila gay ko, 7 days lang pala. So yun, so in a week, or 2 weeks, that's what happened. Tapos, um, may, meron pa siyang 997 per month na recurring. Meaning every month, babayaran siya 997. And again, all he did is what? What is the pro what's the price again? Connect, call, postal, get paid. Yeah, how about that? So that's that's it. About, that's it, guys. So if you're gonna be doing this, just want you guys to remember: this is about serving people. It's about giving value first before asking for the money. Because if you do that, the results that I showed you earlier, you want me to make all money in the screenshots, that could be you. Hindi nyo pa lang alam ngayon, but that could be you. Yeah. So, you know, that's it for me. So, I'm going to go to the next one. The next one is your time tonight. Okay, so thank you again, John, for allowing us to record your interview and allowing us to share this with the Blenders. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. But before we go, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Golands. I would like to say thank you to our friends at Golands, especially to Mr. Michael Brooks, the founder of Golands, who I actually interviewed before at episode 104 of the Freelance Blend podcast. Thank you for supporting Freelance Blend. And again, for you, dear freelancer, I highly recommend that you sign up at Golands using my link, freelanceblend.com slash Golands. That's G-O-L-A-N-C-E. Now, signing up is so easy. Just sign up using Facebook or LinkedIn and you're ready to earn from the gigs being offered inside Golands. What's great about Golands is that 
you earn not just from the gigs but also by referring your friends to join the platform. So if you have many freelancer friends, just invite them to join GoLance using your special referral link and then you earn 10% of the commission fee for the lifetime of all their contracts. Again, that's lifetime. Now that's so powerful, you can actually earn while you sleep. Again, please check out GoLance at freelanceblend.com slash GoLance. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this is part one of our two-part series uh, from the Trade Secrets Manila. For the next episode, which will uh, come out a few days from now, we'll play naman yung, yung panel discussion namin doon uh, after our talks. Uh, so, I, ako yung isa doon sa mga panelists that you will listen to sa next episode. Uh, of course, John Pagulayan is there. And also, Mr. Ruel Austria of Pinoy Online Professionals Facebook group. So, please don't miss the next episode kasi maganda yung naging sharing uh, na nangyari and yung Q&A portion namin doon. Okay, thanks again for listening and... Peace to everyone. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Freelance Blend podcast. For more details about the show and our thriving freelancer community, please visit us at www.freelanceblend.com.